two photographer Salani Thomas Mohosi, hidden treasures lie in capturing qualities of a person which may not seem obvious at first glance. Beyond image, his work reveals character, and it's made him a favorite of the A-list. Hi, the Insider SA. My name is Thomas, also known as Thoughts by Tom. Welcome to my new home. Please come in. My love for photography and passion starts from way back as I was going to tertiary, you know, I started developing a huge love for graphics. And at that time, I was all over the place. I remember I would do websites, I would do flyers for events, I would do a tiny bit of photography, obviously not at the point that one is doing it right now, but it started growing to a point where I started feeling the need to just see where my love and passion was more driven and it had to be photography. So at that moment, I needed to take a decision to literally stop everything that I was doing at the time. Eventually, about seven years ago, I decided, you know what, the only thing I'm going to carry in the morning when I wake up is a camera. Every choice Tom makes must serve the final product and having a home studio allows him to be a more focused photographer. This house is a three bedroom. We've got three bedrooms upstairs and then we've got two lounges downstairs, a dining area and a study that I actually converted into a change room. Where we're standing now is actually my lounge that I've converted into my home studio where I actually do most, if not all, my studio shoots. The purchase for the home was actually inspired more by me having wanted a home studio for a while. So I looked for a space that could actually accommodate me personally and have huge enough space to accommodate my studio. At 33, what matters most in this man's life is getting to a point where he has the liberty to make his own rules and to live by them. Still speaking of all the different spaces in the house, this lounge has to be my absolute favorite. I like it because it gives me an opportunity to just get away from work while still working, unwind, play some games, have a drink, and just um, think of fresher ideas. It strikes a balanced atmosphere between the personal and professional, where Tom gets to feel his most creative. What qualifies a good image is in the way that you take it, so you need to really understand lighting. When anybody asks you what is the definition of photography, it's basically painting with lighting. You've got a vision of how you want your image to look, you need to light it the way you want it, and obviously still boils down to the person that you shoot in the subject, um, will they also just interpret it the same way that you have envisioned it, and it then goes down to editing. That also plays a huge role in how you actually balance all of that. My portfolio bounces back from, you know, the day I actually decided I'm going to leave everything and just focus on photography, invested in a medium camera. I mean, it was the best thing at the time. And I went to a club, I bumped into Lulu Cafe and Black Motion. I took photos of them for free and it elevates to Lulu Cafe calling me for another event that he was actually hosting every Wednesday. And that's where I started, you know, getting even more familiar with the event side of things. Jumps to me shooting for Zintle. I actually was shooting an event. Zintle was playing there. We knew each other, but at that time we had lost a bit of touch. And that's what ended up actually reigniting our friendship. In the age of Instagram, there are high stakes in being responsible for the image of A-list clients like DJ Zinclair. I have known Tom for a long time. I think we're approaching a decade now of working together. We met at the club. He'd come to my shows and have nothing to do. I think he realized that I need to actually find something to do so I can gain access to these clubs. So one time he just came with a camera and I think he had practiced because the pictures were pretty good. He sent them to me and the rest is history. I think Tom's work is what has set the standard for a lot of photographers in South Africa. I worked with him when he was starting out and photography was up and coming and I feel like he's one of the first people that really pioneered the industry. He's reliable, he understands the trends, he understands what's new in photography, so that is what makes him popular. The man behind the stills credits the writings of Pastor Miles Monroe for helping him to align his purpose, principles and planning. Skills which came in handy prepping for that night's party. It's that time of the night now. Uh, we're getting ready for the main event downstairs. It's looking quite good from where I'm standing. Today we're wearing pals. So let's see how it feels and looks on me. And it's so far looking like the perfect fit I requested. 
So my greatest achievement this year has been number one, the house that we're at now. You know, I'm so excited to actually host people for the first time, you know, on my birthday and with seven years of sales by Tom's, it makes it even super special. A birthday wish to myself would be more growth, especially career-wise, you know, breaking more boundaries and making other people know and believe that anything that you put your mind to is possible. I'm quite excited. I, I was quite anxious and nervous the whole day. But seeing what you can see behind me, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. And I hope my guests will also love this. You know, it promises to be a night of fun, of bliss, and just breaking bread with my close people. Tom is one person who will always show up for other people, you know. And I thought for myself that, you know, I have to be here and support him as well. And to be part of, you know, his celebration. Tom takes the most amazing images. He's a hard worker and to see that he's here today goes to show how much work he puts into his craft and the people that are also here today are also part of the work that he's done over the years. Yeah. Tom is the best at what he does. I think he was even one of the first top-notch, top-tier photographers or videographers in the country. All his work speaks for itself. His work ethic is amazing. I think that's why he has so many return clients. That's why so many people trust him for the events. He is very particular with the, sh with the work way that he works as well as his editing. So I think he knows how to carry himself and how to make sure that the work is really done really, really well. So uh, a big ups to Tom, obviously, because he understands what people want and how to deliver that. There's a saying that I love that money doesn't buy happiness but money can buy you things that make you happy. And I'm glad that when I see you as a person, Tom, you make me happy. Because you're not about money. You are a true, authentic, genuine person that you are. Stay genuine. Will it be easy? Nope. Worth it? Absolutely. Those are the words Thomas Mohosi lives by. I think the best thing I can do for him is just wish that he, all his dreams come true. He was able to create a job and, and live off it. And I think there's something in it for other people too. So I just wish that he grows and he makes this industry big so that other people can also benefit from the industry.